Hello there guys, it's Entelpy here and today we will be playing some Cartel Tycoon. It's As you can see it's an early access game, it's about setting your cartel in the 1980s in Mexico. You have to balance between the police, between politicians, between DEA and the story is just amazing. <laughs> Trust me, you'll see it for yourself. I've played this game for a few hours or I think about 12 to 15 maybe regarding the story at least because uh, I mainly focus on a free roam because it's just an amazing game it's an amazing tycoon and for me personally I love this kind of setting I love Narcos, uh, El Chapo, all the other uh, TV series, documentaries so I do hope that you will enjoy. As you can see we have new game, continue settings, of course new game We'll play story and I don't think we'll be doing tutorial because it doesn't bring anything new to the story, it's a separate story of, of its own, it's not connected in any way, so since I've already played it I don't think I'm going to do it. Okay, I have a, <laughs> I have a save from a while because it's actually a second time I'm recording it because <laughs> it was a bit uh, hard to talk, you know, after all this time. So as you can see, well, right now it's loading. It's it's a very nice loading screen, by the way. Okay, it's casting, so I am going to be silent. See you in a moment. Okay, so as you see, we are now in a game, and unfortunately it's very heavy text based, so I guess I'm going to read everything out for you, so that you don't have to read it yourself, because, well, I, I watch YouTube myself, I know it's annoying. Okay, so Caesar takes a long drag on his cigarettes, tearing his nerves. The final tone hums, then cracks. Hello? Hola. My name is Caesar, Caesar Garcetti. I'm calling about your ad in a paper. You're looking for a partner? I am? The stranger's voice is rich, smooth, and warm like a fresh brewed coffee. Love or business? Perhaps I have the wrong number. Depends which you're looking for, senor. Hija puta, I don't have time to be jerked around. Laughter poos from the receiver. Caesar takes another prolonged pull on his dwindling cigarette. My apologies, let's start over. Caesar, see? There's money to be made from this land, but it's buried far too deep for the reach of one man alone. I need a dependable partner, can I count on you? You'd hire me, just like that? You're clearly capable. I will lend you one of my residences, and the cash in it was. You will oversee my fledging operation. It's simple horticulture, growing and selling flowers. We'll think of it as a test, see? Before he can respond, the cigarette burns Caesar's fingertips. He curses in pain. The stranger laughs again. Maravilloso. When it's done, I'll be in touch. Buena suerte, Caesar Garcetti. Okay, so as you see, we had a little bit of a chit chat with our <laughs> new employer, very mysterious fella. So as, as you see, it's, I, I mean, it's a pretty game, pretty, pretty on its own. It has its own uh, something to it. Yeah, that's it. So you see, here is our starting area. There's the residence, which the mysterious man talk, told us about. The residence contains your startup capital, yes. You see here we have, it's, it's a bit of a tutorial still, even though we already passed it. Okay, using dirty money we have to build a warehouse, services the farms within the radius, radius of residence, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, we have, we need three opium farms. 
and a warehouse and transport company. Okay, yeah, simple. Yeah, sorry, I <laughs> I haven't played in a while, so um, I have to get used to it. I forgot how. No, that's definitely not the way. I forgot how to um, rotate. Oh, Z and X. Okay, yes, I remember now. Let's pause for a moment, because you see we have to build those uh, build those opium farms. But as you can see, they have uh, specific places in which the soil is rich enough uh, in nutrition so that they can grow well. It depends on the type of drug. For now we have uh, some pretty nice terrain for an opium farm right outside of our mansion. So I think we're going to make a well well use out of it. Okay, three opium fields, that should be enough. Okay, now warehouse. Warehouses should be located in an area that would pretty much suit us the best and cover the most uh, the, the biggest amount of warehouses. <laughs> I mean the, the, the God, the biggest amount of farms. Okay, uh, we'll have to connect it, but I'll do it later. Okay, and transport company. Uh, okay, we have to construct it with either dirty money or no, no cash, but I uh, will go with dirty money because we have it right here in our mansion, so it shouldn't be a problem. Okay, and here it's very important that we have a logical and uh, <clears throat> pre sequenced road so that the cars don't get, you know, stuck in a traffic. Because it happened a lot to me when I played. <laughs> it was just a just a one big mess. So that's that's definitely something you have to look out for. Okay, so everything seems to be ready. Now let's just click play and wait till the trucks deliver all of the cash, basically. So I'll speed things up a bit. Okay, so something's building yes the transport company oh no 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 they already built a <laughs> the opium farm I didn't see it okay so we have second farm I think right now yeah the warehouse is being constructed that's already all set and and re <laughs> ready to run oh my god sorry uh, I'm pretty I'm pretty uh, I'm not tired but I haven't been recording for a while so it's hard for me to get used to stuff okay okay so we unlock the port smuggling points yeah I remember okay so now we have to connect it to the smuggling point and I think we should open it <laughs> no let's let's operate it um, using dirty money because we'll have to we'll have to have some route here to collect our dirty money so you know this way it's uh, it's it's better works better for us and I think what I will do is I will actually add a specific road which will lead straight to the port because I from from my experience it saves a lot of time okay efficiency highest yeah that's that's what I spoke about previously a warehouse will automatically service yeah everything I've said so far okay move Caesar to the warehouse and deliver opium okay yeah for now it's pretty a pretty basic stuff <laughs> but it will get it will get more complex and more challenging as the time passes trust me okay and well I wanted to deliver opium but <laughs> we have no no in stock so I guess I'll have to wait oh yeah opium all and deliver it to the port great as you can see here is a little Caesar and his uh, muscle car and his muscles in the other cars <laughs> okay complete what's next what's next Using the other money build a transport company that services the warehouse within the radius of the residence and the warehouse. Okay, we, we did it already. Uh, smart me. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> so I uh, unconsciously have, unknowingly, I have uh, already completed two, <laughs> two separate quests. Okay. 25 units and sell 25. Yeah, so I guess there's not much we have to do right now. <laughs> yeah, it's a very slow beginning, but trust me, it'll get, it'll get pretty... Pretty intense as the time passes. God, it's hard for me to speak today. I, I will have to do a lot of editing to hide it. <laughs> but I hope that it turns out well and that you enjoy. And if you do, then, you know, leave a like, subscribe. Okay, that's, that's, that's what I'm doing it for, right? I'm, I'm doing it for you. And for my own pleasure, by the way, but, you know, it's always good to kill two birds with uh, one stone, as they say. Can only sell, yeah, I know. The... Yeah, because we can only sell illegal stuff here, because we can al almost, almost, no, we can also sell uh, legal stuff, you see? Vegetables, coffee, uh, chicken, spice, consoles, and TVs. We can basically become Sony. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, it says it tells us that we can either pay with dirty money or you know legal money, laundered money. Caesar, okay, another rating. Caesar locks the last crate into the back of a boat. The captain approaches him, offering a large black telephone. Digame, Caesar Gassetti. The stranger's voice is unmistakable. I could almost kiss you. You have built us a strong foundation. Trust a man of fate to turn a profit so quickly. Caesar pauses. You know me well for a caller I've never met, senor. Do, how do you know I am a religious man? Is it strange for a man to research his new business partner? My mother is a God-fearing woman. I practice for her sake. But the truth is that business is of far greater interest to me than piety. Business I would like to return to, partner. A son, of, a son loyal to his mother is a precious thing. And, as I am sure she would agree, clean hands offend no one, see? Dirty money is like coal, a powerful fuel, but one that blackens the hands and leaves a mess everywhere. We will need to scrub our hands clean our hands. I have provided you with new funds. We'll think of it as an investment, see? Buy us a taxi company in Amado. I will be in touch again soon. Okay, so as you see we got some legal money. Now it's going to teach us how to basically loan the money. Okay, great. Yeah, we have a different types of businesses which will both land our money and will grant us some gratitude with a public but that's that's uh, that's uh, something that we'll delve into later for now let's focus on taxi company we can build it with either clean or dirty money but i'll just do it with legal money since we got enough and i think that's what the developers wanted us to do this in this instance at least Okay, so it's going to take a while. <laughs> I'm going to do a lot of editing, don't worry. I'm going to cut out all the all the boring parts, because there will be a lot of parts where I'll have to just, you know, grind in order to progress with the story, but I'll try my best to skip those parts. Not that they are not enjoyable because they are enjoyable at least for me when I'm playing but I guess when someone's watching they, they will be pretty boring okay great so we have a taxi company and right now we have to connect it to the residence so that it has a steady cash flow that's that's another part that's tricky about this game you have to really think about your supply chain so that it's not clogged so that everything is supplied the demand and the production uh, it's well, at times it's annoying but at the other times it's just so rewarding when you get it right 
Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. Because we, yeah, we just <laughs> have so much dirty money that <laughs> that the warehouse at the taxi company is full. So we'll have to wait a bit. Oh, a prison. Yeah, I've heard that in the next update they will be actually adding functionality to prison and the military bases. So that's that's something I'll be looking forward to. And I hope that you will as well. Okay, so now we have to wait to launder 1,800 1, dirty money. So yeah, like I said again, I will see you in a moment. Okay, so we got it. Great. And as you can see, I've been trying to build a, a few more pa <laughs> parts, no, a few more farms. In a garage of the round down Amado taxi company, Caesar watches as the remaining stacks of cash are hauled out of the back of an old car. He has a phone pressed to his ear. Ah, the smell of freshly laundered cash. It's beautiful, is it not? The garage reeks of paint, gasoline, and perspiration. Caesar bites his tongue, stretches out his back, and lets out a strained breath. Truly, Caesar, I am impressed. You are working hard. Gracias. Too hard. If you continue like this, you will break your back before you enjoy the fruits of your labor. It's hard work, but someone must do it, senor. If you are truly concerned, by all means, come and lend a hand yourself. Did I not entrust you with my residence and the lieutenants there? The drivers who will only be too happy to share the workload. Just tell them what to do and they will do it until you tell them to stop. Synergy, my friend. Make the system work for you. Okay, <laughs> this fella sounds a bit like those, you know, <laughs> business gurus. <laughs> Make your money work for you. Yeah, anyway, as you can see, I've been up to some investments. In the meantime, I've invested in three new farms, which should bring us a hefty profit from the opium. Okay, so but back to the well, back to the story. We have to recruit lieutenants. Yeah, but <laughs> yeah, but first we have to launder a bit of money. But then, then we will be uh, employing lieutenants. Don't you worry. Okay, so I, I guess I'll be up to some more investments over here. Yeah, the efficiency is good enough here, so that we can build an OPM farm. And you know what, I think we should make a bit of a shortcut here, in order to you know, not clog up the system, because then everything coming from here will go all the way here, just like the rest of the cars, and this way, you know, it's two points of access, so there's less chance of uh, stagnation. Okay, everything is ready. I think, yeah, we finished the synergy. Caesar leans on the balcony of the residence, smoking and watching trucks, ferrying illicit goods back and forth. The phone at his ear once again. It feels good to be in charge, no? Many hands make light work. Yet I still believe we would benefit from a few more. Caesar sighs, the cigarette hanging limply from his lips. More drivers? No, no, my friend. There are cocks in the machine. Lieutenants will carry out these more complex tasks. I have been reaching out. Soon you will be able to take your pick of the novatos as you, at your residence. We'll make a leader out of you yet. Caesar laughs and drops the cigarette from his mouth onto the hardwood floor of the office, crushing it beneath his foot. If being a leader like you requires me to become only a voice at the end of a telephone wire, I'm not interested. 
tell me how am I different from one of those cocks? I don't even know your name, partner. The stranger falls quiet, the smoothness in their voice honging to an edge. I understand your frustration. Perhaps it is time I introduced myself formally. Carry out this task and I'll be seeing you soon, Cesar Garcetti. Okay, so as you see, fella on the other end of the line is soon going to find us. Meet us. <laughs> I mean, not find us, he already knows where we are. <laughs> hire a lieutenant. Yeah, as I said, we have to hire, hire a new lieutenant. We have Vanessa Diaz Venji. As you can see, she has a bit of a terror. Tony Quintero. Oh god, this, this guy is a mess. Yup. And we have Aiga. I'm sorry, I I haven't spoke Spanish in a while, so I don't know how to pronounce it. Yes, but as you can see, we have three different people. Mm. All of them have some certain abilities which could be beneficial. I think for now... Yeah, I think we should go with Tony, probably. Or with Vanessa. Because they are both a uh, bit of a, you know, tanks. They are strong, they are dangerous, but at the other time they are good at laundering money. But I'm pretty much sure that, yeah, infamous, they cannot be in a city because the terror grows. That's not good. And this fella, okay. Oh, he's an opium cultivator. Okay, so I think we'll go with him. Because you know Tony Quintero, he's actually from a tutorial, but that's the only person who's in the tutorial and then is actually in a game. Okay, biography. The Wilson family has farmed this land for generations, defending it fiercely when necessary. After witnessing the struggle, uh, Ajiga wants to get rich and get the hell out. He's willing to work hard and get his hands dirty for a better future. And that's just the person we need. As you can see, for now, he's walking for free. He just wants, you know, respect, notoriety and stuff. But as the time passes, well, you will see. <laughs> for now, it's cool, because he's, he's basically an intern. <laughs> we, are basically, we are basically like a big corporation of sort. <laughs> okay. So, hire a lieutenant, all right? Increase, increase your lieutenant's allegiance by increasing the upkeep. Like I said, he's now working for free, he's dedicated, but we can pay him a small amount, medium or large, and then he'll like us more. But you know, over time he'll get used to it, he'll want more. Well, I guess it's like life. You give someone a finger, they thank the whole hand. Yeah, let's give him 10 bucks. <laughs> I guess it must be a lot, given the economy of the 80s in Mexico, but still, kind of funny. Okay, cutscene. I'm out. Oh no, I can hear the sirens outside of my window and it's open, so I am afraid that you can now hear an ambulance. <laughs> okay, back to the story. The residence is alive with noise, car engines roaring to life, and lieutenants barking orders to the drivers. The stranger enters through the main door, takes a long look around. I love what you've done with the place. The room falls silent, only Caesar recognizes the voice, rich, smooth and warm, like fresh brewed coffee. He rises to meet the stranger. It's nice to finally meet you, partner. Please, call me Miguel. The two exchange greetings before Caesar introduces Miguel to his lieutenants. You've hired well, even so, be wary. Every lieutenant has needs, money or power. Satisfy these needs and you'll have their allegiance, a valuable thing indeed. Fail, however, and they may become disaffected, unpredictable. There are ways to solve this. Your purse or your pistol? 
duly noted. Bueno, Caesar, but for now I need your sword rather than your pen. Our business is growing, and so must our supply. There's a seaport in Puerto Roja, owned by another gang. Gather your strongest lieutenants, and we'll take it from them. You're coming? Laughing, Miguel claps his hands on Cesar's shoulder. This is the start of a new chapter for us, Cesar. Okay, so as you can see, we got a new lieutenant. This is the our the, the our yeah. This this is our mysterious employer, Miguel Angel Gacha. Okay. So as you can see, we have a seaport here in the city of. Puerto Roja, we would have to seize control over it so that we expand with our um, our demands. Yes, because then we will be able to export more stuff. Because as you can see, here we are very limited. We can only sell 26 at a time. It takes some time and it's not that profitable. But here we will be able to ship a lot. 104 four days plus all the things we smuggle so the point is here is a territory of the government so we have to bribe them in order to transport our goods and for now it's not going to be this profitable so I think we're just going to seize control over it and then forget about it for a moment at least until we take control of this province because really it's just losing money yeah, I will talk to mayor so that we start the quests, because, you know, with each mayor you can start a quest, if you complete all of them, you actually seize control over a region. Okay, so they say, as the mayor, you are responsible for everything in this region. Hello, yes, you're right about that. Well then, you need to know that I'm taking control of this region. Hmm, well, this is a story I've heard a few times around here. We are going to need to come to some sort of understanding. I can negotiate with significant people, but you will have to help me in return. It's definitely no accident that you became a Maya. Alright, name your terms. Yeah, so you see, we've started a different... We have three different quests. If we complete all of them, we basically seize control over this uh, place. First of all, we have to increase our public loyalty. So, as I said, we have loyalty. Different actions create different outcomes. People will fear us, people will love us. One of the best ways is to actually buy stuff from villages or host uh, charity events. For now, we have no such option. Guess we will have to buy uh, we'll have to buy some new legal uh, enterprise which allows us to you see, there should be loyalty action timeout, yes. Loyalty on action very high and loyalty one time increase is also very high. So that's probably why we should think about investing in this amusement park, as it will generate a lot of uh, income for us. Then we have uh, Circus, which doesn't give us any loyalty on actions, but very high at the beginning. It's pretty cheap, but I don't think we should. I think we should build an amusement park. Yeah. Or... No, no, church. Church would be better. Because you see, it has um, shorter loyalty action timeout, which means we can um, host charity events more frequently and then advance with our loyalty. Okay, so I think I'm going to build it. But for now, we will have to transport money to the construction site. But that's no problem. We have, I think we have around 50,000. Yep. So we'll construct it, use the dirty money. I, I just don't want, you know, to seize control over it uh, before I seize control over the province. That's what the game tells you to do, but it's only because they want to trick you into paying bribes <laughs> so that so that you are a bit screwed and you start panicking and you have to act quickly. Okay, oh, wait. It should be should be finished in a while. We've used a lot of our money. <laughs> I mean I guess yeah, I had 50 minus 30,000, that's 
Yeah, but you know, it's only now that I've seen it that I've realized how much money we've lost. <laughs> I hope that we can bounce back quickly, because that's not a lot of money, you know, trust me. This 20,000, it's, it's not a lot compared to our expenses. <laughs> We should I think we should actually have expenses here. Yeah. <laughs> we are not making a hefty profit. No, not at all. And most money goes for Oh, okay. Actually, building upkeep is not that bad. If we stopped uh, growing, expanding and investing, I think we should be about 6 about 2000 in plus. So, that's pretty good. Minus laundering, so you also have to keep that in mind. Okay, so as you can see, we have constructed a church. So right now we can donate to the church. It will give us more... Oh, okay, we don't have to. Right. I, I wanted to say that if we donate, it will give us a high boost in our loyalty. But we have already reached acceptance by simply building it. So right now we've passed the first mission. And as you can see, the second mission is to eliminate gang presence in the Puerto Roja. But unfortunately, this creates terror. So that's something we should not do, really. <laughs> okay, stop delivering. We have delivery company for that. I want you, Caesar, to actually come here. Yep. And seize control over those places. I think it's important that we take control over this place before we advance any further. I'm sorry but I think that you are able to hear my messenger. I'm terribly sorry because I forgot to mute it. <laughs> but right now we are like 40 minutes in so... Yeah, as you can see right now we gained a new bar, it's terror bar. It's not very good because you see it doesn't go down once it, once it passes a certain level. I mean it goes down but it doesn't um, neutralize the effects. So if we gain first star, we are screwed, because basically we get placed on a DA watchlist, in the police watchlist. So they are going to be a pain in our ass. So I will try to actually keep it below this level for as long as I can. <laughs> we will try bribing the mayors and stuff. Oh. Okay, Miguel doesn't do anything because he has zero uh, combat capabilities. <laughs> I was wondering why didn't it start the capture. Okay. Oh, alright, so we, we have to take control over this port as a part of a quest. But it's also our quest in the main story. <laughs> okay. God, I'm a genius. <laughs> I've actually managed to complete it just the way I wanted actually but before we attack the port I think we should lower this we should definitely lower the terror yeah it's the terror but we will have to pay with our loyalty unfortunately yeah you see we'll lose it but fortunately it will go away so hopefully we won't have to deal with the EA and the police. Okay, let's move him here. Miguel will also come, even though he's useless. And Caesar will also come. I think we should win. I think we have like five points and they have how many? Three. Yeah, they're going to get obliterated. <laughs> I think we are going to... Oh! Oh, the terror actually went down because I had so... Uh, such a big boost from uh, this mayor's favor. Okay, that's great. Because usually, I'm going to be honest with you, at this point I gained the first attention star. That's something I'll try to omit, <laughs> let's say. Okay, please, please just take care... take control of it. Don't give me the star, please. Yeah, first it's police, then it's DEA. No, Federalis? Oh, okay. Third is DEA. 
Okay, so we have police and federales before the EA. Okay, so that's good. The seaport is painted red. Amidst the cleanup, Caesar approaches a lieutenant dumping a body off the dock. Lugar. <laughs> oh no, I'm sorry, I, I have problems with reading in Spanish. Lugar Teniente, have you seen Miguel? He left orders for you to begin establishing a supply chain to seaport, Capo. He said to be cautious and use a workshop. A workshop? Customs officers, fucking gringos. Check any cargo that goes by road or sea, so we must smuggle them legal prudence. Muy chevere. We should get straight to work. See si, me, Capo. But what's on your mind? The man you are dealing with. His name is Miguel Angel Gacha. They call him El Virunias. The same El Virunias that seduces victims before stealing their souls. Put no stock in monikers, my friend. They are no less than a facade than our false cargo. They call me Gusanito. Would you think of me a worm? Why do you suppose he was looking for a new partner? Because his former friend was left holding the bag, and now he's inside. You should be careful, Mikapo. Are you my mother? If I spent all my time chasing suspicion, I'd have no time for anything else. Come, Lugariente. Have some faith. We have work to do. Yeah, so as you can see, we are starting to learn some pretty uncomfortable facts about our little fella Miguel over here. Anyway, I think I should move uh, Cesar to here, because I don't know if it's uh, this part of the game, but later, if we don't have any people in the city, it will actually be um, begin to be seized by our enemies. So that's something we should be aware of. Okay, and now we have to deliver 30,000 cash. Fortunately, it will have to be dirty cash. So what we have right now um, is to just wait in order to amass the set amount of money. I think I will turn off all the um, legal estates because, you know, they, they basically loan the money so they decrease the amount of dirty money we have. So if we are not making enough, we are actually losing dirty money and gaining legal money, which is something I don't want to do right now because <laughs> I need dirty money. Okay. So as you can see, it's already going up. I don't think it's going to take a lot of time. So I'll see you in the moment. And while I'm at it, I think I'm going to place a workshop. It should be it's in some, you know, sensible area. I think here, because it's right outside the warehouse, so it can be shipped directly to the warehouse and then Okay, and then we can, uh, as I said, transport it to here and then here. Because right now we have too much of it, we are losing. We are losing the product, which is not good. Oh god, why am I losing money all of a sudden? What the hell? No, 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 no! I need money, please, no! Oh god. I think I'm going to turn off a few farms because we are literally producing too many <laughs> no okay everything is fine we are we are gaining money right now everything is just great wait what when did I lose money no god good god is there a... oh, oh no I don't like it wait why don't I have any money here What is going on? Where's where's this 19 grand that I have? Makes no sense. Okay, we have 13 here and oh, okay. Okay, now I know where it went. <laughs> but anyway, why did why do I lose money? God no. Building upkeep? Why is it so high? No 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 no. We don't want to cancel it. Hmm, you know what, let's just turn off the shit ton of farms for now. Let's just leave free, because that's what the game told me. I should build, so I guess that's enough to supply this dock without losing any money. 
Okay, we got 2000, so that's not this great, but it's not that bad either. <laughs> okay. No, why are you. Why the fuck are you transporting it? Stop it. Do not transport it anywhere. Please. <laughs> Oh no 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 no! I mean I I don't like it because I just need this thirty thousand. So you know so that. Wait, is it because my people are here? Do I pay bribes? I think so. This might be the cause. I don't know. I will just get them out of here because I would really like to seize this place right now, but it's already I think forty two minutes. That I'm playing this game. This is going to be a very long, <laughs> a very, a very long video. <laughs> Even after editing. So you know what? I think I think that's enough for today. We've made quite a lot of progress. We have pushed the story. I think a decent decent distance, yeah. And as you can see, we have a little opium empire. We are trying to open up for a new smuggling canals over here, trying to seize uh, the second region. So I mean, everything is looking great for now. Yeah, like I said, so that's going to be everything for today. I hope that you enjoyed. If you liked it, please remember to leave a like, to subscribe. You should see a watermark in the corner. I think down right corner of the video yep if you want to subscribe just click it it'll take you to the place you can you can subscribe if you want and if you stay for more then please leave a comment say what should i improve what should i focus on it's very helpful for me i appreciate it a lot and well i just hope that you enjoyed i hope that you had as much fun as i had <laughs> playing this game so as I said, have a beautiful day or beautiful evening, beautiful night, whatever time you're watching it. And well, I will see you in the next video.